Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Toke. Today we're tasting wine. So robotic about it. You know? Tasting, tasting wine. wine. <laughs> you know, it's always a good day when you get to bust out your also. Because today we are trying your. I don't want to move it because it's it's been resting. I don't want to shake it up because of the sediment. I just really don't want to shake it. Yeah, I don't want to shake it up. This is a 2005 Napa Valley York Creek. It's from York Creek Vineyards. It's 100% Cabernet. Cabernet. So at this point, it's 15 years old. So I'm going to try and be very gentle with it. Which is usually not your forte. No, it's not my thing, you know. You're it's not a gentle person. <laughs> I like things to uh, not fall apart easily. So I am rough on things by nature. Wow. Oh my God. That's beautiful. How I mean, cool. That's a real cork too. It's not synthetic or anything. Yeah. Oh, I love that color. Wow, that is a very unique color. I don't- No, that's a old, that's a, like a, you know, an aged wine type of color. Oh yeah, yours looks darker than mine. Mine's more like, like oh wood God, but, brown. Oh, sediment, yeah, there's a lot of sediment on the bottle here from resting on the side. Wow. Yeah, I, it's always a good day when you get to open up some old wine. <laughs> I wonder if my glass will differ from yours because it was the first pour. It might. Look how brown mine is. I feel like they're kind of the same, but really? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh, ooh. oh, jeez. I don't know about this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, from everyone I've talked to, everyone I've talked to two people about this, this particular from wine. Thousands of people thousands that I surveyed. <laughs> Everyone says, the two people, uh, decant it for an hour. And it might be skunked. It might be bad. Uh, it what smells like... It's... Honestly, it's... it's fading, though. It's that, it smells like whiskey. It kind of does. It's like, if whiskey could be wine, that's literally what it smells like. Yeah, it's... Uh, I can't, like, say it's, like... It's, like, mushy forest floor, but, like, not in a good way. Like mushy forest floor that's been shoveled out onto the cement. With like a bunch of like mashed up, like skunked, gone bad, moldy Colorado olives. Yeah. It tastes like it's gone bad. Oh wow, so, so you, you tasted it? Yeah, that's what we're here to do. I know, I just... Uh, that's the name of the show. I'm a little worried. Yeah. It doesn't taste anything like that, but I am going to follow the people that I uh, talk to. And I'm, I think we need to decant this. I will admit. It's very pleasant on the taste. The, well, I wouldn't exactly call it pleasant, but uh, I think that the taste has some very unique mm -hmm. kind of like mushroomy, earthy, kind of forest floory mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, I mean, think attributes. about it. This has been in a bottle for 15 years. 15. Maybe 13. Maybe, I don't know how long the wine process takes. It's been in a, a bottle for a long fucking time. So it's gonna sm it might smell like shit when you open it up and it kind of doesn't smell the best. So I think we should just decant it. Yeah, so we're just gonna decant it. We're just gonna decant it. Because that's what, that was our plan the whole time. We're gonna decant and uh, we'll come back. This has been well over an hour in the decanter. Mm -hmm. I hope that smell went well. <laughs> But I dialed in on what I think it was. What? It was like overripe not rotting fruit but baking over it's it was baking fruit in an oven or like on the street that was rotten on the street just strewn fruit all over the street no, 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 rotting no. everywhere it wasn't like rotten though it was just funk it was funk yeah but that I, was some funk i dialed it down to like baking plums like you know it just it smells mm -hmm. like it has heat to it is what I'm getting at. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But now it still has a little bit of that. Oh, it's still. It still has the. Doesn't it smell like the heat of when fruit is baking? Like the fruits that yeah, there, should there not is, be baking. There's though. some sort of like weird heat smell for sure. When I smell it, I'm like, oh, this is hot. Yeah. It's like a hot. Yeah, and like so a hot penny or something. This <laughs> is the York Creek 2005 Cabernet Horseshoe, is what they call it. It's like a certain block. Uh, where they pull the grapes from, it's in Spring Mountain, uh, which is like a district in Napa Valley. You know what this is? This is like a dry erase board marker mixed with like a hot copper kettle. 
It has heat to it for sure. It's definitely got, has heat. It smells like the fruit got really, really hot. And I don't know if that's from the grapes getting hot. I don't know if this is skunked or like over the hill in some way, or if this bottle got too hot at some point. This was a gift uh, from a friend who gave me this about two years ago. So I haven't, I haven't hold on, I haven't had this since release. But you can still buy this 2015 York Creek on their website. They still have it. So I think they like hold back vintages. I guess is my thought. I don't know what they do, but yeah, they they sell like a really like select amount of wines. They're a smaller winery. They were founded in like the 1990s. Um, and then they like had their like, you know, equipment at other wineries and then they finally bought a vineyard in uh, San Francisco in 2000. Mm. Um, and they've been making kind of like small batch. Okay. They like to do like a growers sort of grower style. Yeah. Yeah. Did you try this? I did. And it, it tastes like baking, like baking fruits. But it doesn't, The it, it's very pleasant though. It's like baking fruits and baking plum. And it has this like kind of soft elegance to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of like, it's like silky kind of. Yeah, it's really, so, if it didn't have that heat, it would be, I think, fantastic. But yeah. that heat in there just makes me think that this, maybe this bottle got too hot at some point. Yeah, maybe. Like shipping or whatever. There's a little bit of like, kind of like a lavender note on there, which I find kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh. It's an interesting old wine. And at the price, it's like 40 bucks. So to buy a 15 year old wine at 40 bucks, you know, I don't know what this would have tasted like many, many years ago, but at forty dollars, I still think it's fun to open up a fifteen-year-old Napa. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. And I, I do think it's old, it's gotten softer and more pleasant in the decanter. So I think more time in the decanter is only gonna like serve well. It's definitely soft. It's definitely elegant. The smell is still a little funky. The smell isn't right. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't really anticipate the smell changing too no. much. But well, least, the, the smell has faded though a lot. It's, if, it's, it's faded. A smell, it's, it's not as like dead mushroom yeah. leaves. But if the smell was a hundred percent, it's like I would say fifty. Yeah, like, I would 50%, say it, it's yeah. like fifty percent. But yeah. it, but the taste is nice. It's soft. Mm -hmm. A lot of baking fruits. Uh, I do think that the taste will probably get a little bit better. Yeah. Like opening up. Yeah. Um, one thing I gotta say is, uh, this makes me nervous to buy old wines because you just don't know how they're stored you know you could spend 50 bucks 100 bucks 200 bucks on a aged bottle of wine and if you don't really know how to store it it's like you're really taking a chance i don't know that's my thought anywho thank you for watching tasting wine get out there and taste some wine have you ever had your creek you ever had it this is 2005 it? there Let's are know. a few other vintages out there maybe this bottle's off you know, maybe we got an off bottle let us know let us know what you're trying let us know what we should try next leave a comment down below uh, follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is Tasting Wine Official. And I think that's it. And I think that's it. Cheers. Well, see you on the next one. Jazz. Jazz. What was that? There we go. Ooh.